Championship Supreme Friendship Supreme Finding the Geek Within Hey everybody, my name is Michael my and welcome, well, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Friendship. Maybe Supreme. Finish him. We're the podcast that dares to ask. You watched any good TV lately? I have. Um, mm-hmm. She hoped to finish. I sure did. Um, catching up on some old shows. Abbott Elementary is going. Mm-hmm. Enjoying. Uh, uh, what about you? Is there anything that you're currently watching? I'm almost done with Sandman. I started it a, when it first came out, and I haven't finished it yet, and I'm really upset, and I need to finish it because it's fucking amazing. Still good? Still it's, enjoying it? it? it I, yeah, I think it's super solid. If you are not, if you, if you haven't watched it, um, it's not superhero-esque at all. It's a DC property. It's real good. Uh, let me ask you, do you think... Any of the TV you're watching or have watched in the past is that prime good TV? Um, prime good TV, not Cobra Kai. <laughs> Cobra, Cobra Kai, Kai knows what it is. Cobra Kai is a real guilty place. It's it's, it's so like, weird, like it's so entertaining, but like just the worst. Yeah. I, they'll say stuff and I go, "Oh, let me guess, this is happening." Yep, there it uh, is. No, I, cool. yeah. A lot of stereotype, uh, stereotypes oh, running around. Yeah. Boy. Uh, well, I asked you, Michael, because a hit reoccurring thing that we keep doing, the Rolling Stones have given us the top 100 TV shows. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Of all time. I and hate I this already. How much of all time. Shows of all time. Mash number there. one, right? Uh, I can't spoil that for you. Um, Someone thought they were being funny the other day when I was like, they, they, I brought up some old TV show. I was like, you don't know nothing about that. You're too young. And they said, oh yeah, you probably watched MASH too. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. Interesting. Look, I, I understand what it meant to TV. I can't tell you maybe an, an episode of MASH that I watched. No. I know, I know the, I know the racist one. Oh, okay. He's a bull shot. So, I have the ranking, the, the name of the show, and the years that the show was on. Um, we'll just start. And as the frustration grows, we can stop and talk about them as they go along. Hmm. Number one hundred. What we do in the shadows? Which I'm I'm glad it even made it. I like that show. It's on FX, going from 2019 to now. Number ninety nine. Oz, on HBO. God, I remember I saw one episode as a kid. I wasn't supposed yeah. to be awake, and I was. Oh. And they shipped a guy with aid with somebody else's blood on it that had AIDS to give him AIDS. <laughs> Yep, that sounds like Yeah, that, that was that like Oz, Oz, bitch. Welcome. Uh, 1997 to 2003. Yeah, it's funny because we we were just kind of out of where we were supposed to be watching that show, right? And I remember, like, seeing something on my own. It was fucked up. What is happening here? <laughs> yep. Um, oh, yeah, a therapist also used uh, hypnotism to get an inmate to suck his dick. That all sounds yeah. That all uh, adds up. Oz. That all adds up. That, that was the real like. People think now like The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad and like no fucking that shit back then. So fucked up. Well, um, and as a kid, you know, you're thinking wizards and shit, but you know, sure, scarecrows and not. <laughs> you were HBO. What have you but, done? How disappointing were you? Uh, number ninety eight, The Good Fight. Which is on CBS All Access uh, from 2017 to 2020, and then Paramount Plus from 2021 to now. It's hard to believe that there are a lot of newer shows on this list, but okay, continue. There are there are a couple. I've I've heard things. About Never heard of it. Um, I can't think of them. 
Uh, number number ninety seven. The Odd Couple of ABC from nineteen seventy to nineteen seventy five. Mm-hmm. Ended up being made into a movie. Yep, and the rebooted show. It had Chandler in it. Gross. I think he was the messy one. Number 96, Rick and Morty from Adult Swim, 2013 to present. This whole, this whole list is rigged if it's not number one. Uh, Get swifty. Wubba dubba dub dub. Yeah, I ain't all that. 95 is Whitney I'm Pickle Rick. From 2021 to present time. What was it? I yelled Pickle uh, Rick. Game. Sorry. Squid Game. That feels Number like 95. it could be higher, but yeah, okay. One season? And you wanted to be higher already? And it was revolutionary and I, definitely broke the wall for it, it was uh, Asian film. Here. Well, I was going to say, it broke the wall for Asian the Asian market to really come over here. Yeah. Same thing with Parasite. Uh, you know what's funny is uh, I looked online and it was like, you should check out this movie. And it was the, was the, what's, the what's the movie about the bus and the zombies? Well, I saw the trailer for that and I was like, nah. The bus and zombies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up for you later. Number 94, News Radio, was on NBC from 1995 to 1999. I imagine it was important. Maybe. No, no idea. Number 93, The Rockford Files, on NBC from 1974 to 1980. Number 92, <laughs> The Muppet Show, was on Syndicate, 1975 to 1981. It's, um, it feels weird. For my mouth to form 19 something. That's fair. Um, that does feel like forever ago now. I, I have a problem with number 91. This is the first problem I ran into as I walked, looked down this list. It's The Tonight Show with Jimmy Carson, with Johnny Carson on NBC from 1962 to 1992. I feel like late night talk shows, daytime talk shows should be a different <laughs> realm. Than like maybe because it was the first of its and, kind, really. Like the first, like that was the intro to like where we have all of these other ones from now. Yeah. Uh, number ninety is the Wonder Years on ABC from nineteen eighty eight oh, to ninety three. Yeah, it's a shame to hear that. Apparently, Fred Savage is not a great person. <laughs> not surprising. Uh, fair. Uh, number 89, The Carol Burnett Show. Mm, CBS, starring Carol Burnett. Yes, it is, Michael. <laughs> it's 1978. I think. Thanks for that riveting commentary. Yeah, I, I, hey, that's what I'm here for. Uh, I, I'm, I give this show a pass. It was a, it was a skit show as well. But also, she was like, you know, talk revolutionary. Her on TV was like a big thing yeah. in that time. Yeah. Uh, number eighty-eight, The Crown, on mm, Netflix. It's a Netflix series from 2016 to present. I've had many people tell me I should watch it. Little do they know, I hate British people. Okay. I don't actually hate British people. I just don't like the monarchy. Oh, oh, hopefully, we run around. No, that. that's all um, I'm saying here. I just don't like the monarchy. That's it. Well, I mean, but they didn't all have a. They don't, they don't have a saying. That's why I just said. I was like, I don't really hate the British people. I just hate the monarchy. I think it's uh, out there. Anyway, that's not what this, this episode's about. Um, number 87, The Kids in the Hall on oh. CBC. 1988 to 95. And then Amazon Prime Video 2022. Yeah, I don't, I don't like The bringing it back was dumb. But uh, Dana Carvey. Yeah. That's the master of disguise. That. I'm going to okay. be the master of disguise. I was like, is that the end of the, the dog? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, just, he, him and his friends all got together and made comedy skits. It's a that's, Canadian that's show. A lot, uh, back when, like, it was, had, it was so much harder to do. It was very Monty Python now. feel and very... But uh, it, was like, it was like the original Andy San, a, and Adam Sandler like crew. Yeah. Number 86, The Bob Newhart Show on CBS from 1972 to 78. Starring Bob Newhart. Yeah, good, good job. Hey. I, odd, I oddly have super fond memories of Bob Newhart and didn't his he, shows. Didn't he, wasn't he the, this is going to sound really stupid, was he the dad and elf? Not like, not the dad that he went to go seek, but like the elf 
Down? The the that main elf, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I can't. You know, I'm bad with the actors, so like, the if I lead elf, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Pop elf, Not, yeah, yeah. Um, eighty five orange is new black. Man, I, that show when it first came out was like huge. Like yeah. That I think was the first Netflix show that was like everybody get Netflix so you can watch Netflix this. to watch. Yeah, uh, from two thousand thirteen to nineteen. And had number some eight, really touching moments. Number eighty four. I haven't watched any of it, but I always you know do really good things. It it was a great series, especially like the first two or two seasons, three seasons. Um, there there was there's some missteps, but it's to be expected. Who does it? We watched you know? fucking Star Girl, so. Boy, howdy. Uh, number eighty four, Fargo from FX from two thousand fourteen. One. FX has a lot of shows on here, and I appreciate it because it's not Fox. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, it, they 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 get I feel like a little more freedom to put on shows that you might not have seen. Um, two, I did not realize Fargo was going that long. I yeah. saw that it started up, and I was like, maybe I should look into it. Now that I know it started in 2014, probably never going to see it. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Eighty-three. Uh, I'm Alan Partridge from BBC from 1997 to 2002. Michael, Potential, potentially me... starring Alan Partridge. No, I'm 100% yeah. can't confirm. I'm going to take a swing. If, if I and... had to take a guess, guys. Uh, number 82 is Party Down on Stars. From 2009 yeah. to 2010. Uh, and I have heard, God. I have this one highlighted so we can stop and talk about it. I heard phenomenal things about this show. Oh no, I'm thinking of Eastbound Down. What is this part? Um, it has. Is it, I think I saw this one. Is it when they're working as like caterers? Yes. Okay, I did see that. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like an actor's name and I keep saying Alan Scott, but that's not right. No, Adam. Yeah. yeah Adam Scott? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yes. From Parks and Rec. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. It was actually really good. I've, I've heard that also. Uh, number 81, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, FX, from 2005 to present. That is one of those shows that I can always put on and watch, but have never watched the entire series. You know, I've not. I've, I've watched a couple of episodes. It really wasn't for me, but I saw someone argue that. It's the real show about nothing, as opposed to Seinfeld, like, had story going on. This, this is a genuine, like, what the fuck ever, every episode. I think that, in that case, I think that Charlie Day and um, Danny DeVito's character take away from that. If it was just the brother or sister mm-hmm. and Mac, I could see that, but, like... Danny DeVito and Charlie Day's characters take you in such an outside weird fucking adventure that mm-hmm. like it kind of it stops being like everyday life nothingness and more like someone had to write this shit up. Yeah. Uh, number 80, Band of Brothers, HBO 2001. So apparently one Tom season, Hanks, but right? good enough to be on here. Um, 79, Mr. Show with Bob and David, HBO 1995 to... 98. Band of Brothers was really good. And then he went on to do Tiger Island, I think, or Pacific Tiger. You're, th- you're thinking of Tiger King. No. Oh. It was Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks did the... He directed... I want to say he directed it. Uh, or produced it. Uh, Band of Brothers. And then went on to do another one. Uh, Mr. Show with Bob and David has uh, Sarah Silverman. It has. God, I don't ever find her funny. The guy that plays Better Call Saul. Okay. His name. And it has the deep cut. Um, the guy from Toy Soldiers who had the glasses that helped make the little, the little things. Boy, little you toys. you dug in there deep, and I don't know. That's just what I always remember him from. Do you mean anyway. Small Soldiers or Toy Soldiers? Yeah, Small know? Soldiers. Okay. Anyway, number 87, Sex in the City, HBO, 1998. I'm surprised that's higher. 
Ah, that was a phenomenon, man. I remember when that was out. And to this Whoa. day, people still talk about if there are Samantha. Yeah. I think it's just a joke. But two movies out of it, it's like, that's, that's not going to stop it either. I think it's usually coming shows back. Will get, usually shows will get one movie. Yeah, I think Sex and the City is coming back. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, number 77, The Jefferson, CBS, 1975 to 85. That's a good solid 10 years. Uh, 78 is Justified on FX from 2010 to 2015. Man, I watched that first season, and I would have <laughs> gone around to every single house and knocked on the door and asked them if they had heard about our Lord and Savior, Timothy Oliphant. But I never watched the next season, like the next three seasons or whatever, and I heard it was really good. Oh, uh, five, sir, 2010 yeah, sorry. 2015. Yeah, I, I watched that whole first season. I did not ever watch the end of the one. I'm convinced it's that role that made them say, we want to put you in the Mandalorian. We want you to be the sheriff of this town. <laughs> like, we know you can do it. Just just be yeah. a sheriff. Just Can you just justify that space? Oh, uh, yeah, number, space justified. I like it. Number 75. Frasier on NBC from 93 to 2004, which is a stretch of time. It is a really long time. Um, was a spinoff of the Cheers. Yeah. Frasier is the same character he played when he was in Cheers. Few few spinoffs that, you know, actually did well. All, uh, not Joey. Cough, um, Joey, cough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, uh, the lead of Frasier played another very important character to you, Cleve. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and we're talking about Beast. So it's out of Scrambled Eggs. I, I, um, I came across your TikTok the other day. Number, <laughs> number 74, The Honeymooners. CBS, 1955 to 1956. Like good old... Touting domestic, domestic violence since 1966. Apparently there were some fucking lessons learned in that show because it's number 74 and it beat out Frazier. Uh, 73, Bucket the Vampire Slayer on the CW from 1997 to 2004. And then on UPN from 2001. Oh, 2001, sorry. 1997 to 2001. And then UPN, when that changed over, from 2001 to 2003. Joss Whedon's big break. Or really yeah. his, his launching pad. Unfortunately. And uh, nobody seven, and nobody else's. Like I feel like Sir Michelle Geller, like that was it, right? Like I mean she did like a, a movie or two, but Yeah, she's def- I mean she's definitely I mean, she's still right. I guess I guess like that's good that she had that long run in that show. Same I thing think, with the kid that played Angel. I was gonna say I think the guy that played Angel did a lot. I see him a lot more, I feel like, than her. I could be wrong. The girl that played Willow had the most iconic two roles I can think of out of all those characters that, that were together. I guess Seth yeah. Green. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Uh, number seventy-two, Good Time. Uh, Willow's yes. the Willow's the one that played the band geek girl and mm. Amer- Apple Pie and or American Pie, and then the wife in How I Met Your Mother, Marshall and. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, seventy-two, Good Times, CBS from seventy-four to seventy-nine. Uh, seventy-one. Better things on FX from 2016 to 2022. You know what I'm noticing so far? There's not a lot of 90s shows yet. Maybe the where's, our, where's our 90210? You know what I mean? Or I mean, we're just in the 70s. So That's also fair. better things. I've not religiously watched, but have watched pretty good. Um, 70 is SCTV Global. It was on from 1976 to 79, and then uh, CBS from 80 to 83, and then Super Channel from 83 to 84. So it just refused to die. You get it. Number nine, The Chappelle Show on Comedy Central from 2003 to 2006. Till Chappelle said, "Bug off." He told Comedy Central, "Go fuck yourself." I'm going to Africa. Uh, sixty-eight faulty towers from BBC, nineteen seventy-five to seventy-nine. What number is that? Sixty-eight. Yep. Katie, so wherever Katie is right now, she's just fucking just living up the dream that I have to talk about faulty towers now. It's a uh, comedy in in, in Britain, and. Uh, 
He owns a, 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 a bed and breakfast. It's quite comedic, Cleve. It's not. I'm laughing already. I know. Uh, 67, NYCD Blue, Blue on ABC from 93 to 2005. Uh, 66 is The Daily Show with Jon Stewart on Comedy Central from 1999 to 2005. Starring Jon Stewart. Yeah. You know it. Uh, 65 is Girls on HBO from 2012 to 2017. What was that about? Um, I told you the information that I have. Um, let's see. Uh, group of young women at a precarious moment in their lives. Uh, Others saw the whole thing as a massive troll designed to make them angry with their. I don't know what to answer. Bad girls. Um, number 64 is. You remember there was a show called The Bad Girls Club? I do. I think it's still going. 12 or 13 uh, year old Michael, not what he was expecting. <laughs> number 64 is The Golden Girls on NBC from hey. 1985 to 92. Also had a spinoff, also didn't work. Um, she al- one of them also spun off into a movie. Well, yes. One of them got an acting career. It was uh, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. You guys can check that out on our YouTube channel. I, uh, I like that. Yeah, I like that, you know. Uh, Betty White, you know, was uh, had a fabulous career. Zoned just, it on. Just like, zoned you know, it on. I, was, well, I wanted to talk about the fact so, that we did the... Uh, oh, Sophia. Yeah. Yeah, we, had a, we, had a, we did a whole episode about I, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. right now uh, watching our review. She um, is, and she's like, you know what? These guys got it. They they get what I was they going can, for. They get when I watched that entire This is how gun. Gun. Um, <laughs> Number 63, South Park on Comedy Central from 1997 to present. It is. That's also a long time. The documentary on how they get from uh, concept of episode to episode like and less than, days. yeah, is insane. <laughs> And is uh, what kept them always like super relevant and super like interesting. I, I they fell off on a lot of their stuff, or or maybe like I just grew up and realized, hey, maybe this isn't or isn't or shouldn't be funny. But I think that there hu- there was a a stick where I was like, I'm not interested in this anymore. But I will say, I've watched some of their newer stuff, and I think the writing has come back. Mm. Like and the, they, uh, they the pandemic episodes, really them. they're good. Yeah. Um, number 62, The Dick Van Dyke Show on CBS from 1961 to 66. I also have very fond memories of The Dick Van Dyke Show. Uh, shout out to Nick and Mike. Uh, number 61, The Underground Railroad on Amazon Prime. from mm-hmm. uh, Came out in 2021. Okay. Not bad. You, not yeah, bad. You shit. made it. You made it to the, yeah, top 100. Number 60, Taxi on ABC from 78 to 82, and then NBC from 82 to 83. Number 59, Key and Peele, Comedy Central from 2012 to 2013. Hey, good for that. Right, right. 58. I still watch episodes. HBO from 2001 to 2005. Don't know anything about that show. Mm-hmm. Heard good things. Uh, 57, Russian Doll on Netflix from 2019 to present. I also randomly the things. other day had someone tell me that I need to watch that. I've heard good things. Um, number fifty six, Community on NBC from two thousand nine to two thousand fourteen, and being... Yahoo Screen on two thousand fifteen. <laughs> that may be one of my favorite shows of all time. I watch Falls that off. a lot. Falls off for me one one dollar. Like there's still some good. That's stuff, fair. Dude. That is fair, but I still really enjoy it. He's always said too, like if they do a reunion, like he's not coming back. To him, like obviously Claire died in the ocean. It's like yeah. the way he was supposed to provide that. <laughs> he was a little, um, he was a Levar Burton. Levar well, could have made it. About sailing. Levar could have made it. He knew a lot about boats. He knew a lot about a lot of shit. Oh, it's about eating them. Uh, number fifty-five is Halt and Catch Fire on AMC from two thousand fourteen to two thousand seventeen. Couldn't tell you anything. Number 54, ER, on NBC from 1994 to 2009. Oh, that show would never fucking die. 
wild about a time. Wild. I just and my, my George Clooney was in it in the beginning or towards the beginning. Like my mom was looks, obsessed with that show. It looks dumb. Like it, it was it was the Grey's Anatomy before Grey's Anatomy existed, guys. For those of you that are too young yo, to understand. Ninety four to two thousand nine. That's fucking nuts, anyway, man. Uh Fit Three, The Office UK on BBC from two thousand one to two thousand three. Not as good as the American version, surprisingly. Okay. Fifty two, uh Barry on HBO from two thousand eighteen to present. I hear good things about that. What is that one? Um it is starring Is good. He plays good things. Uh, Idris Elba. No, Bill Hader. Same, same, basically. Uh, it's a dark comedy starring Bill Hader as a depressed, low rent hitman from the Midwest. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds good, doesn't it? Not mad about the premise. What is it called? Uh, Barry. Barry. Okay. Uh, number 51 is The X-Files on Fox from 1993 to 2002, and then came back in 2016 to 2018. That show used to blow my fucking mind every week, man. I, I, oh, yeah, I wasn't ready for it. Young Queen. No. For it. Yeah, 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 baby. Michael, I was like seven. I think it was the first time I started watching it. It won, won, it won for me. Number 50. Midway Half, point. Halfway through the list. Jeopardy. Oh, I didn't know we From were doing game shows. From 1984 to present. The second one that I kind of have a problem with being on the list. Talk shows, game shows, I feel like. Yeah, that's thing. different. It's not a, but, I, I mean. You guys know me, I agree. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about Alex Trebek. And then I'm really not mad about the replacement. I can't remember her name right now, but. Is it is it her, like, locked in? or I'm pretty confident it's her locked in. Okay. Yeah, I could do I thought it, it yeah. was. I'd be more than happy with her doing it. The chick from uh, Blossom, but that's an older reference from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> it is an older reference. She, has, she also has a show where she runs a cat cafe. It's not good. All right, guys. So that was uh, 100 to 50. If you guys want to know what 49 to 1 is, you guys are going to have to check us out next week. Suckers! Uh, let's know what you guys think is going to be uh, number one. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys like this or want more something like this, let us know in the comments down below. You guys can always reach us at any of our social medias. Those social medias are all Friendship Supreme across the world, except for on Twitter. There's no eyes on Twitter because all eyes should be on YouTube or Twitch, where we're bringing you episodes twice a week and we're bringing you four streams or five streams a week. Day and night. Baby. Really, we're everywhere, guys. Get out uh, of us. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let us know. Until next time, I've been Michael. Please, and...